Hey y'all, it's Anime Cayman, and today I'm gonna be reviewing episode 8 of Sound for Gear X3! Oh lord, this, this one, fuck. The moment it ended, my heart, it was like, man, it was like, fuck! Now let me break it down. This episode fired off on all cylinders, because for one, we made a lot of plot progression. Pretty much Noble Ray got their asses beat! And how she put those three bitches in her place. And then additionally, I like how afterwards, after the number red had to run away like the little bitches they are, Carol pretty much communicated with, hit it with everyone, and everyone pretty much showed up to take on like the the vessel thing that's being operated. And I like how during all this, this episode didn't waste time because afterwards. You make even more plot progression because Hibiki recovers and all the <clears throat> gear users were pretty much utilizing their climax songs to essentially take on the creature and then Hibiki showed up and she was about to do the finishing blow and so it, the plot twist for Miku was absorbed by the creature and then it's revealed that it's actually Shem Ha possessing Miku's body and I was just like, oh God, I was like, what? So that shit is crazy, but in a way I like it because the reason why this was good for a story standpoint is aside from making a lot of plot progression because it looks like no bread's gonna die because after they take on Carol again and they get beat by Carol's song and then you see them bleeding because apparently their blood was poisoned by Fudo. Like how afterwards Shemha reveals that reveals herself to Hibiki and then it ends on a cliffhanger and what I like about this is it raises the stakes because now <clears throat> Hibiki is probably gonna be might be forced into a situation where she might have to kill her best friend hopefully not but I do like that because now it's gonna make because now it doesn't make the finale of this episode emotionally engaging because it makes you want to know what the fuck is gonna happen next it's gonna make the future episodes emotionally engaging because it's gonna wonder make you wonder what the? What's gonna happen to Miku? Is she gonna be able to have a happy reunion with Hibiki after all this, or is she gonna actually have to be killed? Fuck! So many questions. Damn it. So yeah, this episode didn't dick around. Every single sequence was important. Everything was utilized well. When there was comedy, it worked, and it was just intense. And that's how I felt from the story standpoint. It did amazing with the plot twist of Miku being possessed by Shemha. And they even gave her a transformation sequence too, and that's how you know a villainess is really, really huge. If they have a motherfucking transformation sequence, I'm like, fuck. Fucking awesome. And then aside from it doing well from a story standpoint, you see some character development. Because when Chris and Maria are fighting against the creature, you can see them actually hold hands with each other and coordinate their attacks more. Bouncing off of the current mystery they built up when fighting Vanessa in Solid XV Episode 6. So I also like that too. And then I like some of the lines too, like when Chris is helping out Hibiki to take down the, um, the creature. She pretty much tells Hibiki, go get him dummy. And I was like, <laughs> this is so cute and adorable. I love it. So lines like that <clears throat> from the characters really make things lively. And I like the care uh, the bits of character number for, for Hibiki where when she tells Angela that she wants to fight because someone that can't protect their friend shouldn't be a Sound user. So that scene was epic too, and I like it. It makes me appreciate Hibiki even more. And additionally, there are some nice character moments. Like you see character moment for Carol because She's saying shit like, oh yeah, I'm only helping them out so that they can be indebted towards me someday. And I'm just like, uh-huh. That's like soon that they speak for, yeah, I'm, I'm helping them out because I want to, but yeah, yeah, I see what, I see what Carol's doing. And then it was cute when Carol's like, I'll give the, I'll let Alpha 9 use the body back when it's, when it's like the necessary time and I like that factor too because it shows you that Carol doesn't have the that she's gone through more character moment because she's a lot more gentler now in comparison to when we last saw her so that was character development that was nice for her too I gotta say and the sequences where Elfa and I was talking inside of her mind were really cute too I gotta say so that was another cool element about this episode and that's why I thought it did well 
extremely well from a character standpoint. And additionally, the animation art, it was like a fucking fireworks show of Sakuga. Like the beams looked beautiful, they were super fluid. The sequence of Chris were using was using her missiles looked super flash, fluid and it was beautiful. And then the over-the-top sequence when Hibiki is using the double fist attack against the creature with the rockets behind her fucking arms was just like, whoa, that it was like, gnarly. it was stupid, y'all. <laughs> Fuck. Like, this shit was fucking cool. So, yeah. The animation, the animated sequences were marvelous. My goodness. One of the best animated episodes I've seen this season by far. And then the music was so beautiful. I thought Carol's song was pretty nice. Especially when she has camping lines like, My songs don't come cheap. I was like, what? <laughs> and Neil before me, I was like, oh shit. This is so cool. Like, even like the songs were great and I loved it. Like, this episode was just a blast to watch. And yeah. I gotta say the voice performances were amazing too, and that's why I can really earnestly rate this episode from my book an 11 out of fucking 10 because it deserves it and it was just that fucking good, y'all. So anyways, everyone, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on the episode in the comments section below. Rate the video, subscribe, share it if y'all want to, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching, everyone. Have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.